Hi, welcome to the channel. I am Mali, and I will show you a new Discord-based generative AI, which I have been testing for the last two weeks. A simple artistic painting. Let's add a realism Laura to it. How about adding some details to the painting? Let's change it to an oil painting. Or maybe using control net, change the pose and angle of the subject in the painting. All this and more within Discord using Distillery by Follow Fox AI. To start off, let me explain the basic terminology. Distillery is an open-source Discord-based generative AI model based on Stable Diffusion. There are multiple versions of Stable Diffusion, but in reference to Distillery, we will focus on two models, which are Stable Diffusion 1.5 and Stable Diffusion XL. There are fine-tuned models that are trained over these base Stable Diffusion models, and they are called checkpoints. Distillery has three checkpoint models, Bloody Mary, Vodka, and Screwdriver, which are trained on Stable Diffusion 1.5. You can also use the raw SDXL model directly from within Discord. Currently, Distillery does not have any fine-tuned models trained over SDXL. LoRa, also known as low-rank adaptations, are smaller and specific fine-tuned models that are used in conjunction with checkpoint models. In Distillery, you can use LoRa's at the end of the prompt to apply a particular style or theme over and above the base model. At the time of making this video, Distillery has around 93 LoRa's, and you can use up to 5 LoRa's at a time to create some unique combinations. In addition to all this, Distillery also comes with a control net model, known as Canny, which adds an extra layer of control to your generative image. In simple language, ControlNet Canny basically draws edges or outlines of a given image and constrains your generated image within these edges. Using ControlNet, you can make a subject pose in a specific way or generate images with a particular layout and control the outcome of the image. The default model that you get in Distillery within Discord is Bloody Mary. However, you have the option to switch the model while prompting. ControlNet and LoRa's are optional and can be used via the Discord command in your prompt. This would be the right time to show you these statistics. As of August 2023, Stable Diffusion contributes nearly 81% of AI-generated images. Despite its steep learning curve, you must understand why Stable Diffusion is more attractive. It is because of the level of control you get. Distillery gives you some powerful features of Stable Diffusion with the same ease of use as Midjourney. Over the period, as the community grows, the devs can add more LoRa models and other control net functions. And being open source, the models keep getting better and better. To use Distillery on Discord, open your browser and go to followfox.ai. Over here, you can click on Generate Images, and it will launch Discord. If you have the Discord app installed, it will open up the app. If not, you will be redirected to use Discord within the browser. You need to have a Discord account. I already have an account. If you don't, you can create one for free and join the Distillery server. After you join the server, you can generate images in three ways. If you are on a free plan, head over to free generations and type forward slash serve free with a prompt to generate the images. You get 10 free generations on the free plan. Each generation generates about 4 images. You also get upscale and zoom out functions. These functions will cost you one generation each. I will demonstrate the upscale and zoom out functions later in the tutorial. It took about 88.4 seconds for the image generation. The premium generations are way faster, but you must be on their paid plan. The second way is to go to premium generations and type in slash serve with a prompt. The generation just took about 42 seconds approximately. 
Each generation's time varies as per the prompt, the LoRa, and control net parameters used. If you are on a paid plan, you can also direct message their bot for private image generations. To do that, head over to the FAQ section, and under how to generate images, click on how to use. Click on Distillery Bartender, then the profile image. Here, click on Send Message, which opens up the direct message window for the bot. Distillery has a payment system in Build Discord. To purchase a plan, go to the server shop. You can choose from two plans, a $9.99 and a $24.99 plan. Both plans will give you fast image generations, private generations, fast zoom out, and upscale functions. The early user plan gives you 300 premium generations, while with the Founders Pass, you get 1000 fast generations per month. Once you exhaust your fast generations, you are limited to 10 free generations for the remaining period. What I like about the Founders Pass plan is that it gives you direct access to the developers and founders. Also, you can commercially use the images generated from Distillery when you subscribe. The seed parameter works a bit differently in Distillery. It is consistent with how you would use seeds in Stable Diffusion. Let's say you want to assign a seed while prompting. Type in slash serve, your prompt, and a random number. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, whenever I use the exact same prompt with the seed 1, 2, 3, 4 as a suffix, it will generate the same image. The seed parameter is highly sensitive. If you miss a single alphabet in the prompt, the image would come out differently. You also have to take note of the other parameters like LoRa, the aspect ratio, and so on. If everything is exactly the same, you will get the same image no matter what. Now, if you have already generated an image and want to know the seed of that existing image, you can also get that. All images generated in Distillery are embedded with metadata. What it means is that you can use any of these images in any UI for stable diffusion to get all the parameters info. To get the seed of an existing image, you save the image from Discord onto your local drive. Then open your browser and go to metadata2go.com. Click on View Metadata and upload your saved image generated from Distillery. Here, you can see all the metadata embedded in the image file. Press Ctrl F for search and type in seed. You can use negative commands in the prompts. Let me show you how this works. Let's say you want to manipulate the colors in these images. Copy and paste your prompt along with the seed. Now I want to reduce the blues and yellows, so I will just type in NEG, that's short for negative, blue comma yellow. It did an excellent job of eliminating blues and yellows. However, this is not a perfect science. Let's try the same prompt and use negative red and pink. As you can see, it did reduce the reds and the pinks. However, it did not eliminate the colors completely, which is understandable. This is just one way to use a negative command. Stable diffusion prompting is somewhat different, and you often need to use negative keywords. 
Sometimes, there might be artifacts or doubling of images, limbs, or extra fingers for which you can use negative words like deformed, extra hands, legs, fingers, and so on. But it depends on the generated image and what you don't want in the image. CFG, also known as classifier-free guidance, is a value that defines how much the model adheres to the prompt. The default value is 6. To explain this better, let's take a complicated prompt and first generate the image in the default value. Using the same seed, I will generate another batch of images using the CFG value of 2. Let's increase the CFG value to 10. Let's open the first image from each batch to compare. A higher CFG value does not mean better image quality, but it does change the image. So when you have complicated prompts along with different LoRa's you can play around with the CFG value and pick the desired image. Notice the crowd on the side. This is with CFG value 6. A lower CFG value removes the lighting from the top, and the runway is not that well defined. Increasing the CFG value to 10 makes the image more contrasty, however, it increases the deformation in the crowd. The default aspect ratio is 1 is to 1. You can change the aspect ratio with the AR parameter in the suffix. The SDXL model supports more aspect ratios than the standard version 1.5. So keep that in mind when prompting. Distillery generates the images with a resolution of 1024 by 1024. You can upscale using the forward slash upscale command. It will upscale the image by 2x. You can continue to upscale the images as long as it's within 10 MB, after which it won't. When I tried it, I could upscale it only once. To upscale, open the image in your browser and copy the link. Then, return to Discord and paste the link in the upscale prompt. This is a 2048 by 2048 resolution. The zoom out function is similar to mid-journey. You cannot define the level of zoom out. It just outpaints without any resolution increase. After it outpaints, you can upscale it. The power parameter is the denoising strength. Every image generated via distillery in Stable Diffusion 1.5 models goes through upscaling. You can change the power value if you find noise or any artifacts in the image. The default value is 0.3, and I rarely saw an occasion where I needed to change the value. You can use the power parameter in Serve, Zoom Out, and Upscale commands. It is particularly sensitive to upscaling and zoom out. Let me show you how it works. 
Let's take a prompt and reduce the denoising strength to 0.1. You can see that reducing the denoising strength causes some artifacts, and the image is a bit noisy. If you increase the value too high, you may get duplicates in the same image. This function does have some value, and I just showed you the extremes. However, it is a helpful tool where you can increase or decrease by 0.1 and fine-tune your output. As I said in the beginning, you can use different models in distillery. Using the same seed, I will show you the different model aesthetics. You have to add the model, in the suffix followed by the model name. When using the SDXL model, the seed used for the previous models won't work. SDXL is different, and it generates its own seed. Also, Distillery has only one LoRa for SDXL. So, I won't be using any LoRas for this prompt. I suggest you use SDXL only when you do not get your desired results with the other three models. I am saying this because Distillery does not have any fine-tuned model for SDXL, and when you switch to SDXL, you are basically using the raw checkpoint from Stability AI. Here is a comparison of the images generated using the same seed. ControlNet is a powerful tool for stable diffusion. Distillery uses the ControlNet canny model. With this, I can take a specific pose from a reference image and generate new images in the exact same pose. This also works for any layout you want in an image, like architecture or landscapes. The reference image must be hosted on Discord. If you create your own server on Discord, you can upload your images to your Discord server. Then, open the image in the browser and paste the image link in the prompt. You can see how accurate the generation is using ControlNet. Let me show you another example. Here, I want a specific perspective and design layout for a master bedroom. This is my stable diffusion interface. I will show you what the AI understands when you use the ControlNet canny model.
The image on the left is what I used for the reference, and using the control command in distillery, the AI defines the edges as shown in the right image. It then generates your prompt and restricts the image generation within these edges. You can see how it drew accurate edges for the bed and the other elements in the room. Stable Diffusion has many more control net models. Each of them serves a specific function. I had a word with the devs, and they told me that depending on the demand, they could implement other control net models for distillery within Discord. Distillery also supports image to image. This is very different from using the control parameter. When you use an image, it takes your image and builds up on that. The end result will not exactly be like your image, but you will be able to see similar elements in the images. Here is a comparison. Let's check out a workflow for mixing the image and control parameters together. I have an image of an astronaut on a horse. I will use this image for the control parameter. And for the image parameter, I will use this nebula image. A simple prompt. An astronaut riding a horse in space, nebula. I have added some loras for aesthetics and will now add the two images. These are some excellent generations, and you will never be able to achieve these results in mid-journey. Distillery Crazy version 1.0 is their first trained large language model, and it's a very cool feature. This model is trained and fine-tuned on ChatGPT 3.5. You just put in short words, and it gives you some crazy prompts. It also works when you use short or longer prompts as it fine-tunes your prompts. In the command slash suggest, I will just type in a few words, and the bot gives me a prompt. Let me copy and paste this as a prompt. Okay, these images are not great, but the suggested prompt was good. Let me add some LoRa parameters and regenerate them. Now, these are awesome. So, anytime you are out of ideas, just try the suggest command. I have tested it extensively, and it works very well. Distillery supports about 93 Loras. About 92 of them are for their Bloody Mary, Vodka, and Screwdriver models. No Lora is used unless you specify it in the prompt. The Laura name is what you are supposed to write in the suffix. 
Some also have activation keywords, which you can add to the prompt. I will leave this page link in the description below. Let me show you a workflow on how you can build on your images using the LoRa parameter. The prompt is, a painting of a woman, in the living room 2023, artistic, high quality, abstract face, pure and vivid color, texture and volume, studio light. I am going to use the same seed for consistency. Distillery allows me to add and mix up to 5 Loras. First, I will add the Realism Laura. The Realism Laura can be used basically for any prompt, including non-photorealistic generations. Wow, you can see what it did there. Let's try adding the Detail Laura. As the name suggests, this Laura will add details to the images. Beautiful. I can see the intricate details added to the face and hair. Let's keep adding and experimenting. The Atmosphere Laura adds details and ambience to a scene. I am curious to see what it will do to a painting prompt. Oh, a drastic change. I actually prefer the previous one. The colors are a bit dark. Anyhow, let's add the oil painting Laura. Nice, I like this one. I can add one more Laura to the prompt. Let's try the pencil one, which will add a pencil drawing effect to the image. There are literally over 6 billion combinations you can try with mixing and matching Loras alone. Here are some of the images generated using Loras. To clear the air, this is not a paid review. I actually paid the Founder Pass to try it out and experience the entire process as an end user. Distillery is basically stable diffusion with an easy linguistic model within the Discord interface. Yup, Midjourney is more aesthetic but again, zero control. The problem with stable diffusion is that either it has a steep learning curve for many, or the hardware requirements are demanding. With distillery, you do not get all the bells and whistles of stable diffusion, however, it's a step in the right direction. And the level of control I get with it is way way more than mid-journey. If you are looking for a mid-journey alternative and are comfortable with Discord, you should definitely give distillery a try. Until next time.